Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here, and I've got a bombshell report to share with you, and that is this. A second memo has just been released by the Senate Judiciary Committee. Now, this is different from the first four-page FISA memo. This is another memo uh, that reveals that Christopher Steele, the former British spy who created the fake dossier on Donald Trump about the false Russia collusion narrative, well, apparently this reveals that he had compiled a second one, one in which that was not leaked to BuzzFeed. We know he leaked the original fake dossier to BuzzFeed, but this one reveals that Christopher Steele had another one which he didn't give to BuzzFeed. Now I'm going to take you straight to the memo because it is heavily, heavily redacted and I want to show it to you, but some of the things that we learned from the get-go off this memo are first and foremost, they just have a brief uh, review that uh, Christopher Steele was paid money by, Fu or was hired by Fusion GPS and given money by the Clinton campaign and the DNC campaign, something we learned in the first FISA memo, uh, but it further details a couple additional things. One section, it reveals this about Christopher Steele. It says that he misled the FBI about key aspects of the dossier efforts, which should bear on his credibility. It also reveals in another section some information on James Comey, uh, but it doesn't really give us much detail on what that is. In another section, it reveals that that uh, there was a meeting between Mr. Steele and media personalities, including the New York Times, the Washington Post, Yahoo News, CNN News, and the New Yorker. And this is where he gave information which should have, in a, in a, in a respect, it should have uh, not only bared on the, his credibility of the dossier, but also that manipulation could have been possible. And it's revealed in this memo. Now, one other thing that we learn is another section reveals the second memorandum or the second dossier, if you will, created by Mr. Steele uh, that wasn't published to BuzzFeed was created or, or prepared October 19th of 2016. And in that report, it alleges, and they kind of have this part redacted, but it says that Mr. Steele's memorandum states uh, that his company received this report from an unknown source at the U.S. State Department, that the report was the second in a series, and that the report was information that came from a foreign subsource who was in touch with a contact of and a friend of the Clintons. Now, it doesn't name the name, but then it was passed on to someone else. Now, it is troubling enough that the Clinton campaign funded his work, but also that the Clinton Associated associates were basically working with Steele on this stated credibility. So let me put this in a nutshell. Basically what we learn is in the second memo is that Christopher Steele made another uh, memorandum or dossier which never got handed over the media personnel but in this dossier we learned that he had direct contact with the United States um, or the U.S. Department, Obama's State Department, if you will, who reportedly was working with a foreign Russian source. Now with that, let me break it down to you. I'm going to bring up my um, dry erase board because I want to make it as simple as I can and I can do this very simply with my dry eraser board. Uh, I know I could do it on the computer and make it all nice and pretty, but this is going to go so much faster and uh, be a little easier to comprehend. So I'm going to have to reference my notes here. But just to break down both of the memos very simply for you guys. First, what I have here is Fusion GPS. They're the ones that hired Christopher Steele, June 2016, to create this uh, sort of fake dossier, if you will. All right, now we're gonna add some players here. Let me add Clinton, because we know that Clinton and the DNC uh, here gave around $12 million to Fusion GPS in order to fund the corruption that they have here. So you can see, we have Clinton and the DNC giving money, 12 million to Fusion GPS. This is what we found in the first memo, something that I've revealed on my channel tons of times, who hired Christopher Steele. Now, another piece of the pie that we learned basically from the first FISA memo uh, is that top Justice Department official, we're gonna put that over here. So um, Justice Department official, a uh, top one there. His wife, this is uh, Bruce Orr, wife, Nellie, I believe is her name. Uh, but they are key aspects uh, because here's what happened here. We have Fusion GPS paying money, okay, 
to the Justice Department official Bruce Orr's wife. So basically we have uh, Nellie, N-E-L-L-I-E. -L -L -E. We're gonna put her Nellie Orr instead of wife. N-E-L-L-I-E -L -L -E, Orr is the one who got paid. So basically Nellie Orr, we'll put N-O here, works for Fusion GPS. She is on their payroll. Now this is what we have so far. Hopefully you can see it without the glare. I'll throw up a better picture. Uh, but this is what we learned in the first memo. Uh, but one other thing to add to that is the FBI. Uh, we know that Christopher Steele gave the information to the FBI uh, on, on that particular dossier, but what wasn't shared was the fact that he received $12 million through Fusion GP or Fusion GPS received $12 million from the DNC, from the Clinton campaign, in order to put together and fund that dossier. That was not shared. So all that was shared with the FBI is here's this fake dossier uh, from Christopher Steele. Um, here are some additional things now that we learned from the second memo. And I'm going to go up here because this is tied directly to uh, Christopher Steele uh, and Christopher Steele himself. All right, so here we're going to write uh, foreign sources, basically a Russia source here. So we have a Russia source up here. And then we have Obama's State Department. All right, and there's Obama's State Department. Now we know, according to the second memo, uh, that Obama's State Department reportedly, so they claim, received information from a fake Russian source, or a real Russian source, a foreign Russian source, uh, but the name of that Russian source is not given, obviously, it's all redacted, uh, but they, from this Russian source, the Obama administration receives this information. In turn, the Obama administration, another act here, gives the information directly to Steele saying, oh, we received this information from our source and we added our information. Here you go, Mr. Steele, use it to create your dossier on President Trump against Russia or to frame his Russia collusion story. So we have this. This is learned from the second dossier or the second memo, excuse me, uh, is that these links were linked to Mr. Steele. So now we have a direct tie from the first memo with the Clintons and the DNC. And from the second memo, we have ties with the Obama administration and a foreign source attempting to frame President Trump, who he's gonna go at the bottom here with fake Russian narrative who the FBI uses this fake dossier to, to basically go against the president. So you can see how this entire thing is playing out. Uh, again, I want to recap because I think it's important. First memo revealed that Clinton and the DNC gave $12 million to Fusion GPAs who hired Christopher Steele to make the fake dossier to give to the FBI to frame President Trump. In addition, the second memo, we relearned that Christopher Steele had not one but two uh, dossiers or whatever that he created. The second one wasn't given away. But in the second memo, it's getting confusing. So, so two memos and I believe two dossiers, if you will, okay? But the um, memo revealed a second dossier that wasn't leaked, and the memo exposes that foreign source leaked to the Obama State Department, both of which, this is supposedly a Russian source, gave information to Christopher Steele, which should have made the entire investigation invalid from the get-go. That is how the cookie has crumbled, and that is why I wanted to show you it on my whiteboard so you get an overall idea of what's really going on and the truth behind it all. Anyhow, please share this far and wide, and don't forget to check out my partner at virtualshield.com for forward slash Lisa Haven. Uh, they have an IP scrambler. It's none of anybody's business in the government, what you want to search and what you want to look up. You can look up whatever you like. Uh, just keep in mind, there's always a trail, but with a VPN, they could at least scramble that IP address like it comes out of some other area and computer. So get on a VPN. Also subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you like what you heard, subscribe, 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 and share it because it's the only way that the information is going to go viral. Anyhow, thanks again for tuning in. I'm Lisa Haven signing out.